Hey y'all, happy Monday. And <laughs> Liv decided to discuss her gag order. She actually said that it's not true. She doesn't have a gag order. But the funny thing is, she didn't really discuss anything that would prove that she doesn't have a gag order. So does that mean she really does? Or she just doesn't want to talk about it? If you did miss her live stream, here's her saying she doesn't have a gag order. And, and the whole thing is like, people believe this nonsense. Like I have a gag order. Girl, what? <laughs> a what? A gag order. Baby, I can talk about whatever I want, whatever I want, however I want, when I, you know, I'm live. What you mean? So Liv says after she woke up on the 1st, she decided she does not want to talk about those situations anymore. She said it's a new year and it's time to move on. She said it's her channel and she can talk about whatever she wants on her channel whenever she wants. But I guess she decided not to talk about anything that's going on with her kids. And then she also said that we will never see her kids on there again. Now, I don't know how often she does get the kids, but it seemed like we wouldn't see them much anyway because they're not in her care most of the time, most of the year, so <laughs> I understand, but come on. She also said she will never put her youngest son on YouTube or I guess any social media, and I think that really doesn't matter anymore. People are pretty much past that. They don't really care what he looks like. They also think that he is from Zolo anyway, and he probably looks like Zolo, so. Yeah. People can record recording me. Like, what type of weird, crazy, lunatic, psycho shit is that? Like, what y'all on? And this is women. And that's the side of shit. Who raised y'all? I really wonder who raised y'all. Of course she would bring up the court situation about somebody recording her, taking pictures. <laughs> she was very mad about that. But the problem is, she gets online and says one thing, and then a completely different thing is happening in her real life. <laughs> so people just want to know the truth. Think about all the time she was saying how Gerard did not want to be in the kids' lives anymore. He left them and her. He wasn't trying to see them. And all that time behind the scenes, he was going to court so he could have custody. <laughs> it's crazy. Not to mention how she tried to pin that this was all about getting back at her. Gerard getting custody, you know, being a father like he's always been. All that was just to get back at her. Not to really be a father. And then when every single time it was her turn to turn the kids over to him when she was still living in Florida and he had to travel from Texas to get the kids, she made it a big deal, a scene. She made it a scene at the police office. <laughs> she made it a scene at whatever store or whatever they went to. Like, it's always something with her. She really got online and said the father of her children are kidnapping her kids when it was his time to get the kids. You know what I mean? So it's just like, she'll say anything online and it'll be the complete opposite going on in her real life. Liv really did not expect Gerard to move on like he did. You gotta think about it. He is a cheater. He's been a cheater when he was with her. So even though he was doing that on the side, he would still be with Liv, get back with her. They would still get back together. So this is really different for her. It's not the same pattern as it used to be. I mean, in her mind, Gerard still wants to be back with her. You gotta think about it. He still wants to be with her in her mind. So everything he does is just to get at her. <laughs> I, um, I recycle. So, yeah. You guys, you know what I was thinking? I was taking out the trash the other day before I went to the gym. And I was like, oh my god, what if one day I came outside and there was, like, somebody going through my trash? Like, <laughs> like, trying to expose, like, what's in my trash. <laughs> I was like, they would do that, though. They would do that, okay? If they could get away with it. Girl, don't come on this property. Don't do it to yourself. But if they could get away with it, honey. Now she really thinks people would go through her trash. But it's funny when she talks tough because she's the same woman that had to leave school so she couldn't complete and get a diploma she had to leave because she was getting bullied does that sound like somebody who will fight or you know be tough her own friend misha you know the woman that she stole her purse her own friend said that she's afraid to be around black women even though she keeps coming online talking about how she is a black woman she's afraid why are all these people saying this stuff about you <laughs> But she continues to get online like she's tough, like she's going to do something. Her own friend called her Karen in her story time. I mean, who are we to believe? Come on. I feel like somebody who didn't want the business in real life is trying to cyber bully me. I feel like it because you be saying stuff, poking and doing all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? First, called you Karen for a reason because you called the police on all the men that was at your apartment, all of them. I know you try your hardest to be a black woman. It's not really working because you're not great with black hair as we see with your children. So do not talk about mine, who are who's a black young man and around other black men who go take me his haircut. 
faithfully. He knows all about grooming. If Liv really saw somebody in her trash trying to go through it to, I guess, learn about her life, I don't know, she would call the police. She's a cop caller. And this is what people who have been around her for years have said. <laughs> this gag order seems like the best thing because now she has to find other stuff to do instead of talking about Gerard every single live stream. Okay. <laughs> now she actually has to do other things like go work out. <laughs> Great. But let me know y'all's opinions on this situation down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. And I will definitely see you in the next one.